You'd expect a convict facing life in prison to show some remorse throughout their hearing, right? Well, that's not how the following Karens roll. From hurling abuse at judges to teasing victims' families, the following Karens bring on the wow factor. So without wasting any more of your time, let's get right into it. Christine Longo, a racist Karen who was arrested for disorderly conduct for screaming racist remarks at a black family in a restaurant in Narragansett, Rhode Island, is facing charges in court. Verdict for a woman who was arrested after she went on a racially charged rant against a black family last summer. No hate crime in the end, just a disorderly. As the I King's Katie Davis reports from Washington County District Court. So what happened was Longo was arrested after she harassed a black family who had come to the Coast Guard house for lunch, where she came within inches of the family's faces, calling them exploitative black people and telling them to go back to where they came from. Yep, another racist Karen. While the court couldn't charge her with hate crimes, some are protesting that they should have. James Carullo found Longo guilty of disorderly conduct, a petty misdemeanor. She was sentenced to six months probation, 50 hours community service, anger management, and diversity counseling. But the judge ruled Rhode Island's hate crime enhancement didn't apply. This court does not have the authority or autonomy to simply expand or amend statutes on a whim. Longo was arrested last summer after she accosted a black family who'd come to the Coast Guard house in Narragansett for lunch. In case you missed it, Christine Longo was charged with disorderly conduct and was sentenced to six months probation, 50 hours of community service, anger management, and diversity counseling, which I'm afraid should have been a little harsher. Up next, Shayna Hubers is in court facing charges for the murder of her boyfriend, Ryan Poston. Not helping her case, she shows no remorse as the judge reads her sentencing and, well, it's lengthy, as it should be. This court respects the jury's sentencing recommendation of life imprisonment and finds that the recommendation is supported by the evidence and the law. This court therefore accepts the recommendation of the jury because this court has accepted that recommendation, this court will not be commenting further on the evidence. It is therefore the judgment of this court that you, Shana Hubers, are hereby sentenced to life imprisonment for the murder of Ryan Poston. If her remorseless behavior wasn't infuriating enough, take a look at a pathetic attempt at a sub story to try and sway the jury into her favor. I played in the marching band, I played the flute, and the piccolo in the band and I was I was a good student um, and I was I was made fun of and called a nerd and um, my parents were very strict and they made me wear more modest clothes than the other children that weren't necessarily stylish and I was I was picked on a lot as a child it went on for years it was it was so bad in middle school that um, the other girls when I entered a new private school had all been friends since kindergarten and um, I was the new kid and it was a K through 12 school that I entered in seventh grade and I wasn't allowed to sit at their lunch table they were very cruel to me and I ate lunch every day for years in the bathroom and because I was so thin and tall I was made fun of and the other children made up rumors that I had an eating disorder. Hubers, now 31 years old, still spending her life in prison, is eligible to see a parole board in 2032. Now we have a bit of an unusual one for you. A woman who was in Las Vegas for a court hearing on charges related to the June theft of a $100,000 watch was again arrested on the 11th of December 2022 for stealing a $12,000 watch and hiding it inside of herself, according to authorities. Here's the rundown. Sarah Richards arrived from Baltimore for a court hearing on the first case, which originated back in June. Metro Police records show Richards is accused of drugging a man and stealing his $100,000 Patek Philippe watch. Then on Sunday, police were called to a strip hotel after another man claimed Richards had stolen his $12,000 Rolex watch. When investigators couldn't find the watch, they used a metal detector wand and say it was discovered inside the suspect. The watch was reportedly placed in a biohazard bag and impounded. Richard's court appearance on Monday was postponed. She is due back before a judge on January 10th. Good thing she didn't try to steal one of their car or elders. Up next, we have a man in court showing off some Karen-like behavior. This so-called TikTok star is accused of double murder and has a bit of an outburst before the judge. 
um, Anna inviting Ray to um, over to the hotel that she was staying at. Okay. Um, I'm sorry, this is news to me. A short time later, he reacted again while listening to police testimony about his wife and the man with whom he accused her of cheating. Don't inject your own. We're gonna take a break. Uh, let's, uh, let's you think I wanted this? Or I fucked your daughter? I wanted this? Who the are you? Mr. Bullbot. Did you hit her? Mr. Bullbot, I need you to stop. Oh, my life is destroyed. Mr. Bullbot, I need you to stop. I created this. Mr. Bullbot, I need you to stop. Abulaban is accused of shooting his estranged wife, Anna, and her boyfriend, Rayburn Barron, at her high-rise apartment in the East Village in October. Abulaban's lawyer said it happened in the heat of passion, but prosecutors say it was premeditated, deliberate, and violent. The two were shot in the face at close range. Abulaban broke down over autopsy photos and was admonished again by the judge. <laughs> Police say they found 113 rounds in three magazines in the alleged killer's possession. The TikTok star had over a million followers across Instagram and TikTok. Police say Anna was trying to escape the marriage, and there had been numerous domestic abuse calls for help. Detectives say Abulaban had moved from the apartment but installed a secret spying device on their daughter's iPad and that he was listening prior to the shooting. A Bullabans trial is still in progress, so be sure to subscribe for upcoming updates. As far as sentencing goes, he could be facing the death penalty if convicted. Starting things off with a young Karen who goes by the name of Amara. She was stopped after a cop witnessed her driving on the wrong side of the road. Her sober friend in the passenger seat offered to drive, but it was way too late by then. Here's what happened after Amara was taken to the station. No, honestly, is that why you didn't do very good on, on, on these tests? I feel like... Okay, uh, do, you know your, do you know the English alphabet? Yes. Did you graduate high school? Yes. How about college? Yes. Okay, so sometime between... I can say my al alphabet backwards, no. I can say it forwards, okay. I can say anything. Let's say them forward from the letter H to the letter R. Don't sing them, but say each letter clearly so I can hear you. H, I, J, F. I'm so sorry, I'm so nervous. Can I start over? Sure. H, I, J, K. L F M N O P Q R S T U V W R X U V T S R Q P O N M L K J I H I'm so sorry. Okay. I'm so nervous. Okay. Can you can you can, can you count backwards? Yes. Count backwards for the number 58 to 43 backwards. I mean not Breath and blow. Keep going, keep going. Don't stop, don't stop. Almost, 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 thank you. I'm sorry. It's okay. I just bite it. You, you, you just bit it? It's okay. Any questions? Other than, yes, I know you want to use your phone. Yes, I know you want to get out of jail. Any other questions? I just bit it. Okay, anything else? I've already told you like several times. I'm not gonna keep 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 telling you because obviously you're not comprehending what I'm what I'm what I've told you several times. Okay. Go send up. Do you, do you need the bathroom or anything? Same room. Up next, we have 18-year-old Rebecca Vallejo. Rebecca was seen screaming, shouting, and pacing up and down the street outside multiple bars. She then got tangled up in a street brawl that broke out between two men. Rebecca then got detained, and this is how she handled her arrest. I'm sorry, but you're going to your f***ing job. That's what we're trying to do. Is that the one? No, I had to step in. All right, what's your name? No. Now what? You know what I'm doing? This is you're You stupid as f***ing. You're a female. You slam in a f***ing man. Right. I didn't do s***. You slam in a f***ing man. You stupid as f***. Why you got me in handcuffs and I'm scared not? It's a little resist. It's a little bit. Because I broke my f***ing hand. And y'all didn't even give a f***. Well, y'all, let's revoke her, boss. 
Oh, yeah. Two twelve com center. Close the window. No, you can see my face still. That's rough. Out of the way. You can see my face. Not very long. Yeah. You're off to jail. Oh, honey, I don't give a. Not near do I. We're ten ninety five with Rebecca. We're going to jail with her. Let him know that she's not exactly a happy camper. Beginning mileage for us, we have to jail. 30759. Turn four. Oh, let me the fuck out of this fire!
Well, Bianca was pulled over for reckless driving, but it seems like there was something crazier going on. This is how she acts after the officers confront her. Have you had anything to drink tonight? Nope. Nothing to drink. Nope. I'm a very dramatic person. My man broke up with me. Grab me my ID like you asked me to, boss. Did I ask you to grab your ID? No, but I knew you were finna too. What's your name? He has my name. I don't know your name. I don't, I don't know my stuff. name either. It's because I'm psycho. Did you bring no love? Bring no love. Okay. Stop. Stop. Bianca. I hopped out and my homie Snakes was like, There is no straight line for the I naturally walk crooked. Can you imagine a straight line in front of you? No, I can't. <laughs> Be honest. I, just... I am being honest with you. My thing was hurting. What thing was My vagina was hurting. Okay. <laughs> I found out he was cheating on me. <laughs> and then when I was cheating on him, and then I ended up getting this nasty ass, good, disgusting <laughs> So I automatically feel like a No, 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 no. For what? Can I ask what I'm being arrested for? Yeah, we'll talk to you right now, okay? I'm gonna put the clips on you. Oh, man. Okay. Okay. What did I do wrong? At least tell me what I'm being charged with, motherfuckers. Hold on, let them put the clips now we have a woman who goes by the name of Brittany Schola. She had the cops called on her after causing an accident. She naturally denies being under the influence and was proved wrong, so this is how it goes for her once she is detained. You're too good for that because you're a fucking piece of shit, fucking loser ass motherfucker. My brother died in a car accident. And I miss him so much. I've already been in jail, dude. Come on. My brother f died. Okay, Brady, come on. Please. Mm -hmm. Please, just let me walk. Hold the door, alright? Alright, so we're gonna walk this way, okay? Come on, Brady. My brother died. Come on, Brady. Do you not care about that? Okay, I agree. Okay, okay, I'm here. I agree. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. But I think, wait, seriously, I'm I'll serious. Grab, I'll grab your stuff after, okay? We gotta go inside, alright? Okay. It's kinda cold, I, okay? I'm, uh, <laughs> Come on. I'm on your side. You seem like a really nice guy. All right. All right, I I'll actually really inside, like okay. you. You see my age? I I have. I'm. My brother f***ing died. I understand that, Brittany, but the accident you could have caused could have caused I know. I agree. Else. I, no, I'm no. sorry. I'm sorry. Come oh, on. You're right. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. Next, we have a woman who is referred to as Miss Webb. She was pulled over for speeding and reckless driving. Miss Webb claims she was rushing to her ill grandmother and that she was sober. Of course, she was lying. After attempted bribery and resisting her arrest, this is what happens. Can you please just go to take me to the please? I'll give you, I'll give you a thousand dollars if you can help me. I'm a whole thing to I'll give you a thousand dollars if you don't take me to jail, please. Next, we now have a former officer of the Cleveland Department, Elena Siachi. She was caught driving under the influence and made a complete fool of herself. Elena acted like a child and tried to play the higher authority card on the officers that stopped her, but it got her nowhere but here. Oh, First up, we have Mason M. Bryan. He appeared in court in 2018 for robbery, kidnapping, and weapons charges. During his sentence, though, Bryan got up and, well, let's take a look at what happened. That courtroom, you break this up. Fuck courtroom, man. You break this up. You break this up. You break this up. 22 years. You break this up. You ain't shit. Nigga, you can't get served. You can't get served. You told me about that bullshit. Actually, you know, remember when, 
Remember what this you had for some reason? You never gave me probation! Wait a minute. You never gave me a chance! When I said that you had a certain amount of remorse, I was mistaken. The court determines. Court determines. Maximum imprisonment is needed. So it's 11 years on count one, 11 years on count three. That's 28 years with credit for 31 days. I don't want to hear it, man. Let me out. Let go. Let me out. I don't want to hear it. Go. Let me out. Let me go. Let me out. Just take him out. Let me out, man. I don't want to die. Turn up this bitch. This council waived the. Let me out. This council waived. But it did not stop there. After he received his sentence and had the outburst, the judge added an extra six years to his sentence. However, four years into his sentence, the Ohio Supreme Court took back the six years they added, which brought time served back down to 22 years again. Here we now have Christopher Burgo Colon. He appeared in court for his bond hearing, and this was his reaction. So I'm going to assume you have no money and you have excellent time. Community. Yes, Your Honor. Your Honor, I have. I don't say I anything. Don't say anything. Don't say anything, sir. Please. Bond. You're already huh? out on bond. You're already out yes, on sir. And my bondsman, my bondsman is willing to take me out again on oh, a bond. That's very kind of him, but that won't be necessary today because you're. Well, not I'll going see you anywhere. guys. Well, I'll see you guys in with a lawyer and a lawsuit too. Oh, okay. oh, wait. Bring him back, please. And you can go f yourself too. Would you bring it back to me, please? Hey. Come on, come back. <laughs> Judge Hurley called him back and his behavior got no better. Boy, you guys got me up in here, man. We're in, uh, in limbo. Judge, you're back. Hi. Good morning again, Mr. Cologne. Good morning to you. Yes, sir. Mr. Cologne. Yeah, don't mute that. Could you turn that mic back on for me? Turn the mic back on. Suck my you guys can suck my You guys can suck my Okay? I'm being dead ass real. Suck my $125,000. Your bond on count That's no problem. two will be $125,000. How much bond is my bond? $250,000. That's okay, no problem. I can bond out on that. You apparently keep violating court orders, and the court does not have any, any confidence that you'll abide by this court order. The court will also, the court will also order that you be put on pretrial release. With, That's no problem. I'll do that too. With the GPS monitor. No problem. I'll do that. Once Colin had his say and let all his anger out, the judge gave him the best of karma. The amount of days in contempt of court that Colin gets is unheard of. One, your honor. One, I did not, I did not commit no crime. Courtney Leanne Farmer went down and dropped the charges with the state of Florida. Okay, I have a piece of paper saying we can have contact with each other. You guys got me charged for that. One, I did not even knew about Roxanne. Okay. And then you guys charged me with stuff without what was was already been resolved. Okay, sir, I don't find. And that's, that's why I got a lawyer sir, involved with this. I don't find that's a significant defense well, to what I've uh, accused you and charged you of doing that was contemptuous this morning. Now, I will find you in contempt of court for disrupting this court. Now I will give you. You was an already was going to find me in contempt of court. I will give you an opportunity to make any comment or defense you would like regarding sentencing before I sentence you on contempt. Do you have to say anything? Sentence me. Go ahead, sentence me. Go ahead. Do you, I'm not, do you have I'm not anything you'd like to say you. in defense or, or in mitigation to you. of you got me contempt? Up, man. Is there anything you'd like to you say? You ain't no mother Man, for okay. me to have to salute. Noting that you have Shit, made huh? no comments in your defense, the court at this time will sentence you to 364 days in the Broward County Jail <laughs> to be carried. You out. Got to feed me, man. Thank you, sir. Hey, give me like a 
He honestly probably deserved it for the way he disrespected the court. Next up now, we have Michael Ray. Michael appeared in court for his bond hearing and honestly just made it worse for himself. Listen to what he says to the judge. 87 and 88. 36-year-old Michael Ray's bond hearing for four charges, including terroristic threatening and assault, started off calm, but less than a minute in, he gets upset over the amount. The county's requesting $25,000 full cash behind all charges. Looks like the alley. You think that's yeah. funny? I think it's hilarious. Y'all, I think. All right, so bond is $50,000. No bail credit. Bond was doubled, but it could have been worse. He's lucky I didn't hold him in contempt. Yeah. Thinks these are funny charges. Less than a minute later, it does get worse. Uh, I'll get bring him in. I'm putting, oh, holding him in here. contempt. Ag charges. Besides the threat, Ray also flipped off the judge. Sir, I'm holding you in contempt for what you did. What's the holding me in? And so. You're just making it worse, man. Just f you, shut up. Man, you are All right, you can take him back. 100 you days to serve. 100 days to serve? Okay. Yeah. For what? Right. Because of two EPOs and a motherfucking mission case? He's done. But he's not done yet. Y'all, yeah, I think we need to. Stop. Yeah. Can we bring him back? He's got to be charged. Yeah. Ray now has 10 charges against him. He's special. He really is. It took a lot of convincing just getting rid of 100 days in contempt of court and $50,000 in bond. He really messed up. Now we have a man from Wichita who repeatedly disrespects the judge until she has enough. You're gonna raise your voice at me? Oh my God. You raise your voice to me, I raise my voice to you. You just in a row. I appreciate Mr. Gaines making my point. <laughs> you punk. Very well received. Maggot mother And I don't, I don't think I have to take insults from you. I know. Words. You uh, Use it. Use a I'm a tough guy now. You, use a, a But I think Use what, a And you'll be a After I get sentenced, huh? I think Mr. Gaines is forfeited I'm ready to go I'm ready to I'm go talking I, talking I, you, punk. I'm talking Take you. out of the courtroom You, punk I'm talking out of the courtroom You, punk Yeah, you're a tough guy You're a maggot, punk You should have died You're a baby And what the f***, maggot Anytime, Mr. Gaines Shut up, punk for that, he got 100 days in contempt of court and was charged for the murders he committed. Coming up, we have David Haig. He visited the court to talk about how the system was trying to sabotage evidence and just cause a whole scene. He got out of hand and had to be escorted out. The map! The map! The they falsify this before trial and there's a recording of the prosecutor and trooper talking about falsifying it before trial. They're going in and falsifying the map that they convicted me with by altering the lines on it to make it corruptly seem I was shooting wolves in my guide area. That is a, that's felony tampering with evidence. And because a trooper, an Alaska yes. state trooper was doing it with a prosecutor, the it's a conspiracy. Yes. And they used it at trial the knowing it was false. That is another felony. And I put my foot down. David ended up getting charged for disorderly conduct for violating an order to leave the court. I have Adrian Broner. He appeared in court after a woman accused him of assault. However, the judge had brought up a completely different topic while she had him there. Um, I, I don't know what, what, y'all, what you guys want to do. I'm answering the questions. I'm answering the questions. When I, when I answer the questions, that's all I did have on me. I don't have them. I got, I got rich friends. I do. I got rich friends. I got wealthy friends that take care of me. Where's all the money coming from that you're flashing around on Instagram? Whose money is that? So you're on it. I asked you. It's, 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 it's getting sent to me. I don't have who? it. Who's sending you money? My friends. They're sending you? Why would they send you money? Because I asked if I need to listen, because listen, I, I, I got a big heart. I got a big heart. I showed I got a big heart. And when I when I did that money and everybody asked me for money, I gave it to them. And now that they see me, then I need help. If I, if I ask, I'll so tell us who's sending you money. My friends. I, I can ask Devontae Davis, Al Heyman. I can ask okay. Steven that's know that I asked him. Brona definitely thought that out, but he still does not give the judge a straight answer, and it results in this happening. Taking that long to answer these questions. 
No, 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 what I'm saying is this. After the fight, I can just pay them. That's irrelevant to me. You know what, I'm not interested. I'm not here to listen to people say I'm gonna give you the money here and there and but, disregard every court order in the interim. This is a problem, Mr. Broder, because you have ignored basically every order I have given you. But, and now there is a punishment I've given you, extensions, I've given you time. I trust you're gonna get this done well before your January fight. ended up receiving 120 days in contempt of court for not complying with the civil case he was there for. It didn't stop there though. Broner then had to go out on probation for two years in 2019 after pleading guilty to two counts of misdemeanor. Next, we have Steve St. Felix. He was in court for an online death threat that he made. He had threatened to get rid of all Republicans and did not help his case after this blow up. After his court outburst, Felix remained in jail on $500,000 bond, then entered a diversion program for his mental health. First up, we have Chelsea Schwegel. Chelsea had the cops on her tail because she had caused a car accident and then gotten into another car and drove off in a hurry. Show me your hands! Once Chelsea gave up, this is how she chose to deal with the confrontation. She was definitely on something. Uh, I'd say I do the safe one. I don't know how safe it is. Penny Chase is not safe. I just consider of all the other I was making sure that there was no one I knew. When there was a stop sign, I stopped. Okay, how about all the other people that were in the on the roadways when all this was happening? I was well aware of them and I made sure to stop and a signal at the turn that they were someone coming. Okay. My pants are falling off. I really would appreciate it if I could just like I need someone to fly up my zipper and tie the there, There's a female officer coming right now. Yeah, female officer's coming, she's gonna take care of it. No, they're not going anywhere. Yes, and just a little zip it up, please. Thank you very much. Now we have a woman that goes by the name Aprina Rodriguez. Once the cops approached her in the Walgreens parking lot, she told them it was too late for them to pull her over. That's not how it works. It's too late. No, it's too late. Yes. Well, you didn't have your lights on. You just waited. Wait. You're not free to go. Hold up. You're being pulled over. Why are you grabbing You're not being pulled over. You put your knee in my back. And I couldn't breathe. Nope. Not, we need I don't care. It's my birthday. Look what you did in my body. Have you signed it? Okay. okay so just, just let me you're being charged with resisting okay, cool. arrest. I got and it. you're being charged with felony bail jumping. All right. All right. Okay. Can I sign the paper? You shall appear to all court dates. I, know. I can read. I can read. The court date is set. For you shall not commit any crimes. I just told you I feel threatened. I feel like I feel this like this doesn't apply. Okay. Right now. Do you understand that? I understand. Okay. Are you, you're I gonna sign it. Give me the can take her under out of handcuffs at this point. So we're gonna take you out of handcuffs. Okay, you don't have to tell me what you're gonna do. Just please and then do it we'll have you sign it, go, and then you'll be free to go. Okay? You just ruined my my whole body, bro. You just me up. Are you gonna this is my with the birthday. Dog? Yes. How can I not? Y'all have guns. You're fucking officers. Wow. Who's gonna fucking hurt the officer? You already just tried to fucking kill me. What makes you think I want you to fucking what? Ain't got no type of weapon. None. What am I gonna do? Okay. Give me the papers. I Birthday. Sign where it says right here. In the signature. Okay. Nope. Here now, we need. I don't care. It's my birthday. Look what you did in my body. Here, we'll flip here. This it's my birthday. And you just ruined my body. All on right. My day. Not, you're free to go. 
Thank you. So we can't you luck at the bottom of the middle. 49, Mark Aprina has been released on a signature bond. Next, we have 24-year-old Kaywana Hollandside. Miss Hollandside interrupted a traffic stop for whom we assume is her aunt, who went to pick her up from a club. Who the f are you, Sergeant? Involved, what did you I'm just say to me, Sergeant? Sergeant. We're, we're, so what you call me your little boys, too close to my partner here, okay? Your partner walked up to me. So no, you're involving yourself, so we're going to grab on you. Don't touch me. Don't hit me. <laughs> Under us. Under us. Stop talking to me. Maybe. I'm not. Here, okay. After she gets arrested, another girl comes and interferes with the investigation. You already did what you did to her. No. Can you please leave this? We have a lawyer. I'm, I'm investigating. I have a lawyer. Right now, okay? Go call Chris Zachary. Go call him. Call him. Call up Chris Zachary. They got charges against her over a traffic violation. No, tell him that you want a lawyer and your lawyer is Chris Zagar. Up next, we have a woman who was not identified because she had a fake ID on her. But this Karen started a street brawl and thought she could get away. Once officers responded to the scene, they arrested her, but like a Karen, she made herself lose control of her legs and collapsed on the floor. <laughs> What's your name, miss? Stop, please. Stop. Stay on your side. Stop. Stay on your side. Stop. 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 St
323 park behind him. He is threatening to flee. So wait, wait to handcuff him. No, we're gonna get you. We're gonna put you in the ambulance. We gotta get you. We gotta get you warmed up. Gee, he's got a fucking shot. Why is he got a shot? No, no, no. It's not. Don't put him away. 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 It's okay. It's okay. It's alright, man. It's alright. Good. It's fine. Ruben was charged with felony fleeing an officer. This first car led the cops on a wild goose chase that ended on a golf course. This next Karen messed with the wrong golfer, then called the cops on her. Police officer! And if I'm having an interaction with the police officer, I want to know your name. But obviously you're not a police officer, so therefore you're impersonating a police officer. I can yell as much as I want! She didn't say that! The f it's a free world! A free world! Please! Because I'm going to follow you to your house so the cops can talk to you! I'm gonna see where you walk to so when the cops get here, I can say she lives right there. I know she is. Good. I hope it is because you were so in the wrong, it's unreal. You were so in the wrong, it's unreal. She don't even know her own address. If you live right here, tell them the address. It's very simple. I live at blah, 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 blah. The guy recording put this Karen in her place before the cops even showed up. Oh, I can't wait till the cops come. <laughs> hey, you see this right here? Got have a net over it? Because they live on a golf course. Right. Protect themselves. You don't like it, move off the golf course. I live in Crofton, and I don't live on the golf course because I don't want to get hit with a golf ball. Hazard. I'm the only golfer that's ever hit your balcony, right? Right, right. Oh man. Gotta love a Karen. You gotta love it. It's classic. Standing on the hall. I'm not leaving. I have your ball. Oh, you hit my house. You, you almost hit my dog. You almost hit me, but hit no one. Right. But you're gonna hold up it. Did you pay to be here? No. You're standing here, but you also claim to be a police officer, but don't have a badge number. It's just very, very weird to me. You're impersonating a police officer, which is a felony. Right. Next, we have a crazy Karen on a golf course who thinks she owns it. Okay. All right? Yep. 
She's the one that's calling the drill. Because you are not on their property, you are still on our property. And I know you got the GPS, I know you got everything else, so you do what you have to. Okay. All right? Thank you. Next, we have a group of male Karens who are harassing the woman recording about taking too long of a break. So what they're saying is that, again, we took 20 minutes, but this group right here was right behind us. <laughs> so if we took 20 minutes, then that means that they came off of hole off, 9, the and, they have not, and they have not yet carved off on hole 10, then the group behind us had to take 20 minutes to get from 9 to 10. It's 128, you got off the green at 12. And so they're saying they want to kick us off the hole, and this is former Commissioner Steve Chronister. Congratulations, you're, so, you're a real winner. So they way, say they want to kick us it. off the hole because we took a break in between the holes and, and the people behind us had not even teed off yet. Remove yourself from our premises please. in the next five minutes, please. Sure. Because the authorities, the authorities okay. have been called. Just All right. Back off. Okay. Just back off. You don't, what you want. No, this is what she does for a living. It's fine. Okay. We asked you three times now to remove yourself from the premises. You have yet to remove yourself. And what, what, why, why, why is it that we took, why did you say you had removed us from the premises? What, what was the confrontation? You came to us, we, was, we were trying to tee off, and you came, you, five of you men came up to us. These women don't need the cops. They know how to handle these male Karens perfectly well. Why was you counting? You're, you're getting on the green. I mean, are you a ranger? Yeah, are you? Are you? Are you a ranger? Are you a ranger? They're right behind. And you work here. Okay, so you didn't come over to say anything to us. They're right behind us now. One ten just starting. That meant they took twenty minutes to get from nine to ten. They teed off. They did that? No, no. They, they, they're right on 10. Did they take 20 minutes? No. Did they take 20 minutes to finish 9 to come to 10 if they just started teeing? They teed off. I watched it. No. Okay, just listen. No. Just listen. No, no, no. Yes, please. please. They finished 9. They came straight yes. to 10. That's yes. what you said, Correct. right? They're just about to tee off now. Did they take 20 minutes to go from 9 to 10 to just start teeing off? They teed off at 105. No, no, no. It took 19 minutes. From I watched nine. Now for the time, a woman called the cops on a black man talking to his kid during a soccer game. Man, I wasn't talking to you. You all say you say don't talk to your refs. I don't talk to them. I talk to my son, and I still get this from you. He was standing next to me, talking to his son, and this lady decides to butt in somehow, and yeah, is now to, calling the cops because he was talking to his son. They had a bad call with my son, and I told him I said, "Hey, the ref is right. Always right when the ball was on." And I said, hey, and that's it. She thought I was yelling at the ref, so she came over. And I'm like, ma'am, I was not. She come over to you. I said, no, ma'am, I was talking to my son, nobody else. And I said, well, I wanted to reiterate. I said, no, ma'am, I was only talking to my son, and that's it. But she kept going. I'm like, ma'am, I'm done with it. Then she's like, well, if that's the way you feel. Uh, you can just leave. And I just called the police. I'm like, well, what I did? I didn't do anything. Calls are going on, and all of a sudden, I see the gentleman jump up Let's and go. run over to the field in a loud voice. My job is to make sure the rest of you So I go over, and he does. He says, I said nothing to the rest of the other cops. And I went on to just have to explain, hey, you know, I'm trying to make sure everything, thank you, you know, I'm glad. And then this guy, like, nasty people. You know, I'm not talking to you anymore. You know, we're done with this. I felt that this woman sat there on her cart and was a very intimidating presence. She herself, hey, good call, yeah, Paul at the reps. It was a non-issue until it was a parent or somebody else. And then she came zooming around. So she's sitting there just waiting and creating tension. And to sit and follow this man out when he said, hey, I'm going to leave. I don't want an issue. So why she felt it was necessary when he voluntarily left of his own accord to avoid to avoid an issue she felt was i'm still gonna call coming up we have a group of grumpy old karen golfers that clearly have no sense of time yeah. 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 
Okay. We had the first three tee times on tee sheet. Yeah, we did. Y'all hurry up now. Burger King gonna quit serving breakfast in 10 minutes. How about hushes? You know, on Saturday morning, you're not supposed to be no 10 damn people. We had three tea times. We had the first three tea times. I had the first tea times. No, you we didn't. didn't. We had 8, 8, 10, 8, 20, and permission. Well, I don't care. This man shut down this Karen and put her in a place in front of his son. Record you. Look at you harassing me and my son. We're just playing golf here, and this lady wants to come up to me and say, No kids are allowed here. I live over here with my picture. grandma. I don't care. Yeah, look at you going crazy. When somebody gives you honesty and the truth, you can't handle it. Go ahead. We're going to leave. Just know that this is wrong of you, man.